when it comes to elastics um, I've got this long piece here so you want to know where you need to cut it now it's quite simply what I do is I tuck, put my shoe on I place my elastic in the shoe roughly where I'm going to sew it like so okay then I basically lightly hold it across my ankle to gather where I'm going to need to sew it and also how much I'm going to need so just slightly pull it go to the other side of the shoe remember to leave a little bit of leeway so maybe about half an inch if that each side of the elastic so if you ever needed to sew it tighter or whatever you can Now you're ready to sew your elastics on. I place mine um, just before my ribbon. I find that's the best placement for me. Now it will vary um, person to person, but I prefer my elastics here. To show you the kind of thing we're going for, here's my old shoes. As you can see, my elastic's a bit worn, but um, again, I've basically sewed it so it's crisscross and I do about two to three rows to keep it on nice and secure and just sew it slightly before my ribbon. Now some dancers like to sew their elastics onto their ribbon but I like to sew them here because I feel they keep my shoe on my ankle better um, and prevent any sliding off my ankle when I'm rolling through my shoe. I fold the elastic like this and hold it into place whilst I sew so it doesn't slip or move around. Now same method as before, I'm zoom in, I'm basically going to be doing crisscross. So let's go through the needle, don't go through the drawstring as I mentioned before. First of all I'm going to do my knot. Then I go through each gap of the elastic in a crisscross. Whoops. You may find you might get a bit of a tangle, but just don't panic and uh, pull it out of the way. Doing crisscross like this. It's nice and quick. Once you've sewn it, it should look like this. Nice little crisscrosses. Now you can do a second row. So go back from where you came by sewing the other direction. You can go just slightly below the drawstring casing if you wish, but I prefer to go here so it's nice and secure. Just pull it through. Again, some people like to sew their elastics um, on the outside of the shoe, if you know what I mean, but I prefer to do one on the side because I don't like them being seen. Now I've sewn the first part of the elastic on, don't get too excited and sew the other side because basically you want to make sure that you've got enough and you're going to do it tight enough so the elastic actually has an effect. So basically I would slip my shoe on, place the elastic over my foot and see where it needs to be to enable it to be tight enough. Now you don't want it so tight that it's going to hurt you and be a pest. You want it just tight enough so it keeps the shoe on your foot um, and you yeah you don't want it too loose. So basically put your shoe on, pull the elastic over, decide where you need it, hold it in place, slip your foot out of the shoe and sew the other side. Now when, you, when it comes to sewing the other side it is a bit tricky so what I tend to do is mark on the elastic um, where I'm going to sew it with a pen for example and then I take my shoe and I turn it inside out and I place my elastic where I'm going to have it see in the right direction like this and I sew it so 
I can actually get a grip of the shoe. So, you know, you folded the, the, the actual shoe back. You can then handle the shoe better when you sew it. So yeah, I first of all sew my ribbons, then my elastics, or elastics and ribbons, whatever you prefer, it doesn't really matter. Um, as you can see, I've done like half my shoe to show you. I will now go and do the rest of the shoe and then show you a clip of it. Now my shoe is sewn. As you can see, both ribbons are on and the elastics on. And that is how I sew my shoes. Now another thing I do is the drawstrings on my Grishkos are usually really long. And I tuck my drawstrings in when I wear my shoes. Um, but they rub and they get irritating. So basically I do a small bow with the drawstring to see where I want it. Then what I do is I snip, I snip the ends of my drawstrings just so there's enough give so I can pull them tighter. But, and there's enough left so I can tuck them in my shoes but not loads left over like this that they actually end up rubbing on my foot and like being generally uncomfortable. Now some people like to darn the full edge, um, the, the full platform. Um, it's quite an old school method and some um, teachers like their students to do it. I have done it but I don't prefer it. I like to cut my satin off the whole of my platform. Basically the way I do it is I stab a pair of scissors underneath it and rip it off. Be very careful because you can end up stabbing yourself. I rip it off, trim around the edges to get all the satin off and I darn around the edge of my shoe to give more traction, um, better grip and generally I find the shoe better to work with. Um, I have done, not done it on some shoes and I do notice a difference. And other things you can do is you can buy suede tips that you can glue on. I've used them before. Personally, I don't like them. Or you can use moleskin. I don't like them at all. I find them too grippy and just generally not my thing. So I prefer the darning method around the, the um, edge of the shoe like these that I've done. These are my old ones. As you can see, I just darn around the edge very slightly. Now, I've noticed that some ballerinas actually use a really, really thick thread and darn around the edge of their shoe. Now I'm not exactly sure what thread that is, but I'm dying to find out and see what kind of a difference it would make to my shoes and how I'd feel about a thicker thread, who knows? So yeah, that's exactly that's basically what I do to my shoes. I have them sewn, I wear block elasto rib ribbons and block cover elastic or any other invisible elastic. As I mentioned, you can get other ribbons and there are other elastics. It's all about personal preference. Uh, it's also good if you're going to start doing a different method of sewing your shoes to try on an old pair first. Again, that like, you know, if you're going to do any other kind of things like cutting your shanks down or something like that, try on an old pair first so you don't damage your new pair. Um, another thing I'm going to do to these to make them more wearable for me and to last longer is to shellac them. Now I have got a video on my channel already which mentions about shellacking and how to do it and how to use um, glue to glue your shoes. Now, it's best to shellac on a new pair or a pair that's not old. So I'm basically gonna do a coat of shellac inside my shoes um, in the box. I'm gonna put a tiny bit into the platform and I'm gonna coat the sides of my shoe to make them last longer because generally I find shoes for me tend to die first in the platforms and the shanks. But just to make the platforms last a little longer, I'm gonna shellac them. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching my video, please subscribe to my channel and I will also try to do some videos on darning and any others. If you have any requests, as usual, please do let me know and I'll be sure to do them. Bye!